Let's take a moment to acknowledge all the hard work that has gone into this. By you, by putting an effort into this, by your academic team who has been supporting you throughout this journey, by your family members who are proudly sitting up there and over here, who have supported you in numerous ways as you juggled family life, career life, and various other responsibilities, including your academic life. Specifically, if I talk about the MBA students here, you are not people here who have joined eSoft just to add three letters to the end of your name on a visiting card. You are not here for the letters of the MBA. You are here to be an MBA. You are here to transform yourself. And I believe that the London Met MBA is one of the best programs that we have in Sri Lanka that allow you to do that. Now you may already know Jack Ma, who is the founder of Alibaba, had a lift out of the ordinary. Jack Ma's life was filled with rejection, but each rejection only fueled Ma's determination. In the 1990s, when he first introduced the idea of Alibaba, a global e-commerce platform, people actually laughed at him, but he persisted, believing in his vision. And today, Alibaba is one of the largest companies in the world. He says, if you don't give up, you still have a chance. Giving up is the greatest failure. Hi, I'm Umair Iqbal from the BTEC Level 7 program in ESOFT Metro Campus. Uh, the comprehensive curriculum and the hands-on experience I received here at ESOFT was instrumental and really valuable for my professional and academic growth. I'd like to thank the ESOFT team, mainly our lecturers and all those who supported me in this journey. I'm happy to continue my MBA program with ESOFT. So you know, when you uh, have a master's or a postgraduate qualification in business, people expect you to perform uh, as business leaders. Because actually we need uh, you to contribute back to our, your organizations, uh, maybe it is your own company, maybe another blue chip company, uh, wherever you work. We want you to contribute back to the economy and the country and the society. Nothing can you know, give you results overnight and so on. So you have to have actually your patience, stand, get back and continue your journey despite our failures and stay focused to achieve your desired goals. So wish you all the very best for a brilliant uh, future. I hope that all of you will bring change to your companies, your industries, and become true business leaders. Good luck. Whether you're in London or here in Sri Lanka, our mission is the same, to change lives through the power of education. At London Met, we cherish diversity. Our university is a vibrant community where different cultures, ideas and experiences come together. So today is the start of a new chapter. Take what you've learned, use it to make a difference and never stop striving to be the best version of yourself. Remember that future lies in your hands. Doing this MBA has given, pushed me out of my comfort zone and helped me to grow both personally and professionally. It has given me to uh, confident the dream big and tools to pursue that those dreams fearlessly. I now empowered to take meaningful contribution, not just in my career, but life as a whole. In this moment, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to ESOF and the teachers who support me during this period. When the searching and considering numerous options, ESOF was the best decision I have selected.
urge you as at Pearson we continue to promote you come back and continue to upgrade your skills because what you learn today in another 3 to 4 years or even 2 years or even shorter than that becomes unfortunately obsolete so you must continue to learn three things to practice every day and the first of these is lifelong learning if i can keep going learning new things every day so can you at a minimum one thing a day make time for this learning in your life keep that precious and guard it encourage your own curiosity what's going over on, on over there how does that affect me what can i learn from that new experience so this is your moment to take forward your skills your knowledge and your passion to shape the new world technology is no part of everything right uh, i think you go into real life situations you see things you take example like banking right you you start to see it in some of the developed countries now you start to see it in in, in sri lanka and other countries uh, in the region soon as well where banks you you no longer see you know banks as buildings now everything is getting digitalized right you are starting to see new banks the medical profession itself is changing right? diagnosis happens now to ai you see starting to see doctors doing operations remotely from start, from even from a different country just so much of technology that is getting infused into everything that you do now this is the time for that learning as well spend time learning what is out there and what are the possibilities what are the opportunities who knows it might inspire you to 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 create the next facebook it might inspire you to create the next whatsapp right these are all billion multi billion dollar companies that were created the next tesla maybe but all these things you need inspiration right and there's so much of material out there so much of resources out there I, once again i congratulate everyone uh, who graduated today i congratulate the parents congratulate the, the faculty good luck to everyone with your next step thank you